Hi guys, welcome to It's a Piece of Cake and today we're making the KFC Bucket and Pepsi Max Bottle. So you're going to split a Pepsi Max Bottle into half and you're going to either temper your chocolate or use a compound chocolate and you're going to pour a lot of black food colour powder. You're going to stir that powder in and then you're going to use the whisk and you're just going to keep whisking that till the powder is basically all clear and there's no lumps and bumps of powder and you're going to smooth the chocolate. And then once you've done that, you're going to pour it into your um, two halves. So do one half and then the other half. So you're going to pour some chocolate into there. And then you're just going to keep moving it around till you get a nice even coating. So you don't want any plastic container showing. And then once you've done that, you're going to repeat it on your second half. And this is our first coat because we are going to do another coat. So pop it on a piece of baking paper, do your second one. So you're doing the other half and you're going to pop these in the fridge for about five to seven minutes. So as soon as you touch a chocolate when it's in the fridge and it doesn't come on your fingers, it's ready to do the second coat. So now we're going to do the second coat and you're going to repeat this on the other half as well. And then you're going to pop it in the freezer for 20 minutes because we want it completely cold. Once you've got it out of the freezer, you're going to use a knife to clean up any excess chocolate that's on the sides and then you're going to use a really sharp knife to cut through the plastic because we just want one initial first cut. And then once you've got that cut, you're going to use your fingers to cut, uh, kind of peel through or kind of rip the container apart. You can keep using the knife, but you might, I think with the knife, you might keep getting scratches onto your chocolate. I'm not sure, but I found this way it worked for me anyway and it was easy. So I'm just ripping the plastic container. I'm pulling out the chocolate. So with this one I'm doing the exact same thing. With this container I already kind of had a cut so I just made that cut even bigger and then again I used my hands to pull it off the container and this is why you need to do two coats because this plastic is so thick with one coat it might break. So my little lid bit came off but I'm going to stick that on with chocolate. So to put them together you're going to just get some chocolate, put the other one on top and then with the label add a little bit of chocolate on the back of the label and put it back on. So with that top little bit, I've just put a ring of chocolate, I stuck the top bit on and then just cut a little hole so I can fill this up with some chocolate sauce. I should have filled it up when I didn't have the lid on, but anyway, you can fill it with whatever you want. So to do the actual container for the KFC bucket, we're doing the exact same process. This time we're using red chocolate and we've mixed it in, whisk it in. I can tell that's more of a light red. I want a darker red, so I've used another powder and we're just going to keep whisking it until we've got a nice, beautiful, shiny, glossy red with no powder chunks in there. And then for the container now, I've just got this from the $2 shop. It was a pack of three and these are in the party section. They're just paper containers and you're just going to put the chocolate in there and you're going to do two coats again. So once you've done your first coat, coat you're going to pop it in the fridge roughly for about 10 minutes. This is more of a bigger case. And then after 10 minutes or even less, maybe six minutes, when you touch a chocolate and it doesn't come on your hands, you do your second coat. And then once you've done your second coat, you're going to cut off all that excess chocolate on the sides of the rim. Um, it just gives us a nice clean top and it'll be easier to release it from the um, paper container. So once you've done it from the, that, you're going to get a sharp knife and you're going to cut through it and you're going to take off all that paper. So just keep gently cutting through the container, um, th through the paper, and then you'll get your container out. It's really, really easy to get it out. To do the logo and the man, you're going to save your image and take it to your cake decorating shop and they'll print it out on an icing frosting sheet and then you can either use a knife, sharp knife or scissors to cut out the man and the logo. So once you've cut out the man, you can go ahead with the logo. I find that it's much easier just to cut it out with some scissors so you can cut out the logo as well. So these are the eatable icing sheets. Now um, I'll also show you how to cut out the logo with fondant because I found that this was a little bit too small for what I wanted so then I did it with fondant. To stick it onto your container you're just going to use a little bit of water and what I first did is I did a larger um, logo of the man and it went right to the top of my container so I thought he was too big and he took too much off my container so I took him off and I put a smaller one but then later I realized that I preferred the bigger man but it's up to you whichever size you want to go for so probably print yourself a couple sizes and you're just using the water to stick it on if you get any um, parts of the eating ice edible icing that comes off like I did with some black just use some eatable marker and just fill in any areas that comes off so that corner I just put with a marker and just filled it in so the water's going to stick it on now if you want to do your logo on fondant you're going to go on google images you're going to print out the logo of kfc to the size that you want and then you're going to roll out a thin piece of fondant and you're going to use some non-stick cooking spray and you're going to stick on the letters and gently cut out the um, follow the letters and just cut them out and that's if you want to do the logo in um, fondant so you're going to spray it on with some non-stick cooking spray it will help you kind of stick into place and you cut them out 
Now to stick them on, I've just sprayed some non-stick cooking spray onto my chocolate and that will kind of give me the flexibility to move them around. So I shift them down a bit because they'll too high the letters and then they'll just stick it on. To make the chicken is just basically making um, cake pops. You're going to crumble your cake, add some melted ganache in there and stir it in till you have a nice um, kind of when you press some of the cake into your hand it holds its shape. Now I've got a lot of cake pop videos and um, if you want uh, there's a playlist you can watch them and how you make cake pops but this is basically we're just making cake pop but just the shape of a chicken. So mix it up and now we're going to start making them. So to make the shape the best way to explain it is I'm just doing drumsticks so it's just basically I'm just Think of making light bulbs. So you kind of cup some in your hand and you kind of um, narrow it down towards the bottom and that will give you the shape. So you're cupping it through the hands and pinching the bottom to get it nice and down. And if you get too much chocolate ganache sticking on your hands, um, just use, um, before you start making them, just use some non-stick cooking spray on your hands. And when you spray that, then the ganache won't stick onto your hands and it will just make it much more easier so you won't get so much crumbs flying around. So you're going to keep doing those and make all different shapes and sizes that you want and then you're going to pop it in the fridge for half an hour because at the moment they're too soft. We want them to be a bit firm. So they go in the fridge for about half an hour to firm up. So once they're firmed up, we're going to start dipping them into the chocolate. So as you make cake pops, you dip in some cake pop sticks into the chocolate and insert it into the cake pop and then to our chickens and we're going to leave it for on the table for about five to seven minutes for the chocolate to firm up. And then once the chocolate has firmed up, we're going to start dipping them in. To make the crust or the chicken skin, we're using just some cornflakes. So you're just going to crush some cornflakes on your hands. Or if you want them to be really fine crumbs like the look of um, chicken nuggets or if you just like the finer texture, then put them in the food processor. But I just kind of just break them up with my hands because I like the variation of the bigger and smaller pieces on them. Get your cake pops now, dip them into the chocolate and straight onto your um, cornflakes. Now, like I said, the cake pop stick was optional. That's why you don't have to put the cake pop stick. If you want, you can kind of um, use a spoon, spoon them into the chocolate and then spoon them out and put them on the plate and then um, put the cornflakes on them. It's up to you. It's just, I just find with the cake pop sticks, it's just much, much easier. Now, if I was to have done this again, I would have definitely coloured my chocolate more of a dark orange because there was too much white kind of peeping out. So if you want, you can colour your chocolate dark orange and then that way it will kind of blend in and you won't see any whites um, sticking out. And also, um, if, you're not, if you're just watching this video and you're not going to make it, next time you have uh, cornflakes, drizzle on some white chocolate because it just tastes, it, so it works amazing together. I actually had it and I couldn't believe how nice it was. So to remove your cake pop sticks, you're just going to pull them out. Once they're firmed up, it's easy just to pull out, just kind of um, slide them out. And then if you want to cover those little chocolate bits of the cake, you can dip them into white chocolate and again, and just add some um, cornflakes on top, but I'm not going to bother. Now to assemble it, you're going to add some chocolate sauce, ganache, buttercream, whatever you're using. I'm doing more of a sundae kind of flavour, so I've went for just a soft vanilla sponge cake with some chocolate and strawberry sauce. And just going to keep layering it on until you go to right to the top and then... I'm just going to add a little bit of caramel sauce on top. So if you want, you can add, um, do like a ganache here. And then if, because if you're transporting the cake, then I'd recommend do ganache. And then what you stick them on, onto the ganache, they firm up um, and they don't move around. And then each piece stick on with chocolate so they can hold onto each other. And that way they won't fall down. But I'm not transporting mine, so I'm just stacking them on top. Now because of those white bits that are poking out, I'm just going to use some orange food colour powder and just a dry brush. I'm just going to brush it on just to cover up some of those white bits and also it just gives a bit more colour so it doesn't, doesn't look just yellow. So I liked it with a bit of um, the orange food colour powder. I thought it looked and lifted up um, nicely. So it's up to you. But if you want, just dip it into the white chocolate and you wouldn't have to do this part because you'll have the variation in colour. So as you can see, this is a very quick tutorial for someone that doesn't like working with fondant or carving or anything um, because you can make the Pepsi Max bottle days in advance and you can even make the cake pop chicken um, you know, a few days before. If you want to make the tray, um, I've just got this small tray that I'm working on. Obviously, if I had a larger one, it looked much nicer, but I don't. Um, you're going to pour some chocolate onto your plastic tray. And in reality, you should do two or three coats, depending on how heavy your cake is. But I'm only going to do the one coat, because I'm just going to show you guys how to make a tray if you want to make the tray. But if you do want to watch a full tutorial on this one, I'll put the video, um, I'll link your video in the description box below. And that's um, a video that I've done with um, chocolate plastic containers. 
So I'm just going to do the one coat, pop it in the fridge for about 10 minutes and when the chocolate has firmed up I'm going to release it from the plastic which is really really easy. The best thing about plastic is it because it's flexible you can kind of stretch it once the air goes inside the chocolate basically just pops right out. So that's if you wanted to make the tray but this tray would look nice if you piled up with the chicken rather than just sitting the box on it but that's if you wanted to make the tray. So now I'll pop the if you get some marks, finger marks on your uh, plastic bottle or even the KFC um, bucket, just use some non-stick cooking spray and just kind of use your fingers just to kind of neaten up all the little finger marks you get. I didn't have any, but I'm just showing you if you wanted to make it more shiny, that's what you would do. So that's pretty much making the whole, and you can go through around. I've just done that as well, just clean up on the plastic uh, on the container. So. That's a really, really easy way of making the KFC bucket and I've just put, now normally when I cut into chocolate, so in my Nutella video or Pringles video, I heat the blade. This time I didn't heat the blade because when you heat the blade you, blade, you get a nice even cut. I wanted to actually try and do it without heating it and just to kind of smash into the cake and see what it looked like. So I thought I'll just smash into this cake and I just actually, I actually like the way of smashing it. But if you want a neat cut, then watch my Pringles video or the Nutella video and that will show you what a neat cut is. So if you did enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up and you can subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you in the next tutorial. Bye for now.